question. So as the, uh, as the, the, the first thing that they're going to be doing is actually rolling a video, I believe, of images of, Osi of, of Bennu as Osiris Rex comes up. So what are we looking at in this video? So during our approach, we've been slowly creeping up to Bennu. And during that time, we've been taking the opportunity to snap images using the OKM's uh, camera suite uh, that was built at the University of Arizona. So we've had a very active campaign imaging Bennu as we're uh, approaching uh, the surface and it's given us an opportunity to really get a sneak peek at what we're about to embark on so we're getting great images back we can see the surface has got a lot of boulders craters a lot of diversity yeah. in in the surface so it's been really exciting stand by for a new arrival So you can see here we have the Doppler residual, so we know the burn is occurring because I'm seeing a change in velocity from the spacecraft. It's gotten very quiet in here. Everyone's whispering. We have arrived. You may have noticed we were doing a bit of an unusual high five there. That's called the tag five, because that's reminiscent of the tag sam arm that's eventually going to retrieve a sample. And then once we arrive on December 3rd, we'll perform preliminary survey. And in preliminary survey, we fly over the North Pole, South Pole, and the middle of the asteroid. This helps us to map the gravity of the asteroid and understand how to operate near such a small body. Additionally, this will be the first time that we get close-up pictures of the surface, and we'll know how smooth or rocky the surface that we're going to study is. As we get closer to asteroid Bennu, we'll begin to map its surface in higher detail. What we'll be able to do is first identify the distribution of rocks and particles that might pose a hazard to the sampling mechanism on the spacecraft. And we'll also get a better sense of what the shape of Bennu is like at smaller scales. Looking at Bennu in more and more detail is gonna help us identify all the areas that we shouldn't go to grab a sample from. Throughout 2019, we'll be doing global characterization of the asteroid, basically making maps of the entire surface. We're interested in its topography. Are there craters? Where are the boulders? The valleys, the mountains of the asteroid. And then we want to understand the distribution of geologic materials. Are we finding different patches of minerals in one location versus another? And why are certain areas of have a composition and others may be different? We're going to be looking, most importantly, for areas where we can collect a sample. OSIRIS-REx will collect a sample from Bennu using our TAGSAM, which is the Touch and Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism. What that is, is an arm connected to this sampler head that you see here. This is similar in size to an air filter from a car. How this mechanism works is there's compressed gas that is released that will stir up the regolith from Bennu, store it into this canister, which we will then put inside of our sample release capsule and bring back to Earth. We will collect the sample of Bennu in 2020 and return it to Earth in 2023. Once we're in the vicinity of our home world, about four and a half hours before impacting the top of the atmosphere, the spacecraft spins up and releases that sample return capsule. The spacecraft fires its engines to perform a deflection burn, going off into orbit around the sun, and the return capsule enters the Earth's atmosphere, targeting a landing in the Utah desert. I'll be there on site when we open that capsule up and we see those samples for the first time. And science begins at that point on the next phase of the mission, the sample analysis period. <laughs>